The Dreaming City houses many secrets. Some include taken infestations, awoken mysteries, and Ahamkara eggs. Ahamkara have been long extinct, or so we believe, for many years now, with Riven being the last known dragon-like creature out there in the wild. Today though, we're going to discuss the Ahamkara briefly, these eggs in the Dreaming City, and a new one that has been found this season near Mara's chambers. Assemble a team, Petra. Send them into the heart of the city. Kill that creature. And extract its heart. I've waited so long to fulfill one last wish. Destiny 1 introduced the Ahamkara and their stories in various grimoire cards, but a bunch of lore dropped within Forsaken that gave us tons of insight into how these creatures tricked Awoken, allied with characters like Mara, and made their home in the Dreaming City. Here are some short stories on some of those Ahamkara. First up, there's tales of tricky Ahamkara like Azarim. One wish dragon who claimed that his ways of deception were over and that the Awoken in the Dreaming City could trust him moving forward. They did for a little bit, then Azrim led them near a cliff in the gardens where they all jumped off and died. He then consumed their bodies. Ea was once a friendly Ahamkara who loved to tell stories. Awoken would sit back, relax, and listen to these bedtime-like stories that this Ahamkara had to tell them. A random time later, Ea would flee the Dreaming City and was going to reveal all of the Awoken secrets to the people of Earth. That is, until Seer Ido hunted him down, and his bones were then turned into guardian armor. So here are some of the locations where the Ahamkara once roamed. This information comes from the patrol dialogue, so here are the different locations. It's pretty cool when you put the connections together that this actually happened in places we've been playing in for years now. It's mentioned that the Ahamkara were believed to be born from the planet the Dreaming City was carved from, but perhaps they came from the Nine. This is one of the patrol lines as well. Now there's some others, but of course the most notorious of all would be Riven. When Mara and Aldrin returned from the distributary back to the solar system to help those of Earth, Aldrin would scavenge among the stars and Golden Age ruins near the asteroid belt. Soon later, he would return to the Dreaming City with a baby dragon-like creature, an Ahamkara, and gift it to his sister Mara, whom named it Riven. In the Dreaming City, you can also find corrupted eggs, which are actually taken Ahamkara eggs, or so we believe. Most of these can be destroyed with the Wish Ender bow to get yourself the Taken Sparrow and also the title Cursebreaker, but also at one time, these were just eggs. It would seem okay to destroy these ones because they were taken and corrupted, but nothing has ever happened with them since, and all of the known ones could be destroyed by guardians with that bow. My name is Tior Ido. I was the first to stand beside Mara Sov. You will be the last. But... Only if you prove yourself worthy. In Season of the Lost, a new area was built in the Helm where Mara conducts her operations with Savathun. You got the main area here where Mara stands, you got Savathun's cocoon-like thing in the back, and then two different rooms on the sides which are inaccessible. 
If you jump up to that right room and look over the gate, you can see one of these Ahamkara or corrupted eggs. Now this looks like a normal egg that we use to destroy with the Wish Ender, but cannot be destroyed. Now the only reason you can test this is if you glitch in and use the fighting lion to kill yourself to be able to use weapons, but you can't destroy it. There's no immune state, and who knows if that's even the purpose. Maybe it's just there for the story. So you may think all of this is crazy, it could be, but at the end of the last wish, Tekian says something interesting. Riven of a thousand voices, architect of this city, return to us for the sake of plans to come. So you might see where we're going with this one. Mara relied on Riven so much during the creation of the Dreaming City and her wars against different alien factions. And perhaps she wants to either bring her back to life or create a new Riven of her own, attempting to hatch a new Ahamkar from this corrupted egg if it's even possible. And to add on to this, as far as we know, Riven isn't truly dead either. Six brave heroes came to destroy my people's greatest secret. Riven, the last known Ahamkara. A creature of immense power and cunning. The Guardians killed Riven and ripped out her heart. But Ahamkara transcend death. They can transform desire into reality, even when they are nothing but bone and dust. I should have known that Riven would grant one last wish, one last curse. A theory I had before this season was maybe that Mara was going to bring back some of the Awoken who have gone missing. The big one I threw out there was Seer Ido, one of her lovers. Now while this is happening with her Tekians, it's not so far with characters like Seer. So will this plotline emerge as the season unfolds, bringing back characters like Riven, or maybe even Seer Ido? Or really, what is the purpose of this egg being here? Others speculated that this could be the acclaimed 15th wish, a final resolve to this speculation that's been going on for years, but who knows. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for this little theory video on what the heck the Ahamkara Egg is doing in Marasov's chambers. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.